Hello everyone, we are from group 2. My name is Angelica Monalisa and my student's number is 19212070. My name is Adam Vita Maldini and my student's number is 19212054. Hello, my name is Berandia Salsabila and my student's number is 19212060. In this video, we're going to talk about optimizing learning process through collaborative tools. Let's get started. Okay, why we should use collaborative tools? Since the COVID-19 pandemic, teaching and learning are used to being done online. Learning collaboratively offline is so easy. We can meet with group members and work on projects in person directly. But how about collaborative learning online? Students work together in group to achieve the same goal in collaborative learning. To help students achieve their goals, application and website developer provide various collaboration tools that are an alternative for collaborative learning that can be done anywhere and anytime. So that's why we should use collaborative tools to help us to overcome the problem during the pandemic. Okay, let's find out what experts say about this. According to Jacob and McCafferty 2006, collaborative learning has been proved to be an effective teaching strategy for both teachers and learners. It encourages learning to take place and allows communication skills to foster among learners. Collaborative learning refers to various teaching methods in which students work in small groups to help one another learn academic content. In collaborative classroom, students are expected to help each other, to discuss and argue with each other, to assess each other's current knowledge and fill in gaps in each other's understanding. Slavin, 1992 Okay, let's move to the concept of collaborative learning and collaborative tools. Alright, thank you for your explanation, Adam. Now, let's move on to the definition of collaborative learning and collaborative tools. Well, collaborative learning is an activity that involves a process where a group of students collaborates to accomplish the problem-solving task given as learning activities requirements. What about collaborative tools? According to Dennis 1996, collaborative tools are usually web-based. It can be accessed by the user easily. Web-based tools can support group collaboration activities with no requirements to pay a high price. It just needs to use internet access. There is no requirement to have other additional hardware. Okay, so what is the benefit? It seems very interesting. The intention to use collaborative tools can be described as students who can feel the easiness of collaborative tools utilization and understand the usefulness that they will get by using collaborative tools to perform group assignments. They will have intention like, if I have access to use collaborative tools, then I will accomplish the group's assignment by using collaborative tools. Here are some benefits in using collaborative tools in the learning process according to Venkatesh and Davis 2000. First, the use of collaborative tools positively influences students' intention to use collaborative tools in doing group's assignment. Second, the importance of collaborative learning activities for students underlies the need of information exchange between group members. And last, the various features offered by collaborative tools can support and simplify the process that has to be done in a group to do a collaboration. Um, that's all the information that I could tell you. For more, I think Bella has already prepared a lot of information for you. Alright Belle, it's your turn. Thanks Angel for your explanation about collaborative tools. Now I will recommend 4 platforms from Google to use to be more fun, creative, effective, and efficient doing collaborative learning with your students. 
The first platform I will recommend to you is Google Forms. Google Forms is survey administration software included as a part of the free web Google Docs editor suite offered by Google. Google Forms is only available as a web application. The app allows users to create and edit surveys online while collaborating with other users in real time. The collected information can be automatically entered into spreadsheet. In Google Form, you can set up a new form or quiz, edit and format a form or quiz, and send your form for people to fill out. I will show you how to use Google Form and how it would be when applied to the learning process. Alright, now let's move to the second platform that is Google Doc. Google Doc is a word service based on Google Cloud Web. User can use Google service from free from the Google Docs website or via Google Drive. Google Doc allows user to work on document with a team or collaboration in real time. The third platform is Google Sheets. Google Sheets is typically used for spreadsheets collaboration across different geographic locations Multiple users can modify a Google Sheets document in real time, with changes track for each user. The Google Sheets online spreadsheet application enables users to create, edit, and format spreadsheets online to organize and analyze information. The last platform is Google Slide. Google Slide is a presentation program provided by Google where you can create and solve slide in visual form to support a presentation of your work. Google Slide can create professional presentation by combining various text effects, graphic, and multimedia content available as features in Google Slide. It is a type of collaborative software and provides real-time coordination, facilities, and different opportunities to exchange presentation. These three platforms have the same features and the difference is the function. The features of these three platforms are you can edit, share, and comment. Now, I will show you how to use Google Docs, Google Worksheet, and Google Slide, and how it will be when applied to the learning process. And I want you to fill the table. Please complete the text, structure, the, the text structures using your own words, okay, starting from now. One minute left. After hearing the explanation and video about these four platforms, this is the platform I recommend look easy and convenient. I hope this platform can help you make collaborative learning effective and efficient. Alright, that's all our video. Hopefully, it can be useful and also create new insight for all of you. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and see you! Here are the references that we used for our video.
Thank you.